people keep having kids and keep needing um, childcare workers. So. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Maria Scrapbook here. Um, as you can tell by the title, today we are gonna be going over eight different career fields that you can go if you have your BS or BA degree in psychology and you're feeling stuck, you don't really know what to do, you maybe have just graduated, um, you don't really know what career field to go into. Psychology, you can go into many different fields. I've seen it myself, um, so, yeah, before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to know more career opportunities, can you watch the video? And let's get started. Okay, so a little bit of background information on me. Um, I graduated in May of 2020 with my BS in psychology. When I first graduated, I really didn't know what I was gonna do, what career field I wanted to go into. Yeah, so I knew I wanted to work with kids, but I just, I never had experience working with adults before, being that I've been working with kids since I was in high school, so it's been a while that I've been working with kids, so I just wanted something different. So maybe about three months before I actually graduated college, I was just applying to different places, literally, you guys. When I say I probably applied to over 100 jobs, maybe even more, because I was just so concerned about getting a job. You hear so many horror stories about after grad, um, post grad life, how miserable people can't find jobs. So I was just like, like I really want to prevent me not having a job, not just for everybody else, but just for myself. Like I knew that's something I wanted. And then when you're in school, you hear all these opportunities of other people like getting jobs, full time opportunities. Um, and with psychology majors, um, being that our field is so broad, it's very hard to get a job. You need more experience. Most um, jobs require you to at least have a master's, if not more. So yeah, um, as time went on, I just kept applying and um, I ended up getting a job working in case management and that's the job I'm, I still currently am at. Last week made it a year that I've been at this job that I am now. That's a little bit of backstory of me and what I do and what I am doing with my um, BS degree in psychology. There are so many other different um, routes you can go um, with a degree in psychology. And so let's get into these eight career fields that you can go into with a BS or VA degree in so psychology. So the first career field that you could go into is a social service specialist. Um, and basically a social service specialist is um, working in human service. So being kind of like, um, I guess I can, it, can, it would fall in the category of casework, um, working for nonprofits, a lot of nonprofit organizations, working as a um, anything in the human service, anything working out in the community um, basically is considered human service, social service, same thing um direct clinical counseling but that's more so of you having a master's degree to counsel somebody um and if you see me looking down it's because my um all this is in my notes um yeah so different agencies um basically providing a resource to the community is basically social service human service it's all the soft calls in the same category so if you are one who likes to work out in the community a social service specialist would be something that you would probably be interested in um the next career field is a teacher i mean everybody's always hiring for teachers and what mainly what i learned is it's not about what you know it's about who you know um yeah so so many people are hiring for teachers like assistant teachers like so it's always people are always hiring for teachers so if you are one who loves kids i would definitely recommend um looking in that career field because you can always get your master's um in the field of education um it's always i wouldn't say it would be have to be something that you love because everybody knows that money isn't a factor when it comes to teachers it is a factor but it's not because everybody knows you don't get paid a lot as being a teacher but i feel like it's the rewarding feeling of helping kids um for me 
Um, I wanted to be a teacher at one point, but then I just wanted to do more one-on-one -on -one work. Um, yeah, but I'm rambling now, so I'll get into me later, but this is just mainly about your career field, your choices, and what you could choose to be your career choice um, if you do have a BS or BA in psychology. So the next um, career field that you can choose um, or try to pursue is a probation and parole officer. I know I see a lot of criminal justice majors um, going this career route, but it's not just for them. A lot of psychology majors do it too, only because, you know, with probation and parole, I don't know a lot about that, but I do know that um, there's a lot of mental health, substance abuse, so um, just working with people, um, basically still helping people out in the community helping people wanting to do better for themselves. Um, so that is a career choice that you, if you are interested in the criminal justice system um, and then making recommendations to the court, that's all basically probation and parole. So if you are a psychology major and you were interested, or even if you're not interested, you wanna just wanna see there are probation and parole um, offices that I see frequently on Indeed that are mainly hiring a lot um, just because you just need a lot of that career field. Um, also another career field that you can choose is a rehab specialist. Um, so dealing with substance abuse or even just people with mental disabilities, um, helping them throughout their day to day life. This position mainly requires a master's degree because it kind of influences kind of like counseling almost but there are awesome jobs like i said going back to it's not what you know it's about who you know so you can easily get into a job and intern and sometimes they do paid internships and that's kind of like your way in the door so make those connections and build those relationships the next career field is a laboratory assistant in psychology fields just doing research on different topics you get paid to do research on certain things, like whether it's cancer, whether it's disorder, like um, doing labs, testing things. Um, so many different opportunities out there um, for lab assistants. I know it's not just catered to biology majors, psychology majors too, learning about why we do certain things, studying, testing, all that. That's definitely a resource. And with that career field, you can make a lot by just staying for the comp staying with the company for a long period of time um, and just working um, a lab manager and they make they pay very well um, so yeah that's another career choice um, a career counselor um, working with people kind of like a life coach figuring out what you want to do um, helping people figure out what they want out of life um, help them find careers help them figure out what they want to do so being a career counselor can be an option um and the next is case management um what i do as a case manager i work with adults with mental disabilities and i basically help them through their day-to-day -day life whether it's getting the resources they need helping them find the resources that they need um balancing out the different clients that you have um that's a career this is a career field case management is a career field where you can always um, go higher and the more knowledge you have the more experience you have the more they pay um, so that's definitely a choice as well and the last but not least is a child care worker um, there's always daycares always teachers after school programs hiring um, that's another field that you can go into that you could easily um, advance in as far as going from a teacher's assistant to a a full teacher to a, a daycare director like and so many opportunities that was my last career that I had for you guys but I just want to end off and like I said it's not about what you know it is about what you know but also it's not it's about who you know um building those connections building those relationships with people because you never know who is what like you can go in a grocery store and you can just be nice and talk to somebody and they can be an owner of a company in your career field that you just don't, you know what I'm saying, you just never know. Build those connections, ask questions, and do what you have Do what you have to do. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And um, yeah, with psychology, you can do a lot of things. You just have to figure out what's best for you. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
Um, I hope this helped a little bit. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys in our next video.